Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to be making slow cooker apple butter. In the slow cooker, we've got about four to six pounds of apples that has been peeled and sauced up and taken out the core. So we're going to put over one lemon that has been squeezed of its juice. Okay, in this bowl, I've got one cup of Splenda and one cup of just light brown sugar that I use. And then we're going to put our spices. I've got one tablespoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves, one fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to dump that all into our sugar and mix it. Now we're going to pour that over our apples. I'm going to get it a tall. And then I've got these apples to put in too. So I'm just going to put them on top. And don't worry, this will cook down. Once they start cooking down, I'll keep stirring every couple of hours. We're going to put a lid on our crock pot. And we're going to cook it on low for a good 10 hours. It's been 10 hours on our apple butter. Now we took the lid off. And we're going to keep the lid off for the next process. We're going to put in about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to take a immersion blender. And kind of break up all the chunks and stuff. Just be careful because it's extra hot. If you don't have an immersion blender, then you might want to do batches in your blender. But be extra careful because it is popping hot. <laughs> and it'll take a few minutes to do this. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with the immersion blender. We've got it smooth. You can leave yours a little bit chunky or smooth it out. It just depends on to your taste. Now, I've stirred it after I did the immersion blender, and now we're just going to let this go uncovered. Don't put the lid back on. Leave it uncovered. Keep it on low, and we're going to go for another two to three hours uncovered, and it's going to reduce and thicken and be wonderful. All right, my apple butter cooked for about three hours with the lid off, and I come and start it every hour. See how thick it gets? I mean, you could even reduce it down a little bit more if you wanted to go another hour or two. But I think three hours is perfect. It depends on what kind of apples you use, how sweet they are, to how much sugar you need. Mine was a mixture of some apples that somebody gave me from their tree and then some Honeycrisp apples. So if you use a mixture of some tart apples like Granny Smith, you might need a touch more sugar. But you can sweeten it to your taste. When this cools a little bit, I'm going to pour this into jars and store in my refrigerator. It will keep in the refrigerator for about two to three weeks. Or if you want to do it longer, freeze freeze some of it. That's what I will be doing. Apple butter is extra yummy to put on biscuits. You can put it on pancakes and waffles. Put it on some toast. There you have it. Crock pot apple butter. <laughs>